As part of proof of concept number one, we investigated the redemption of wholesale CBDC use case. A redemption of wholesale CBDC is an exchange of wholesale CBDC against SIC balances. So it's the opposite transaction to an issuance of wholesale CBDC. From the banks and the central bank's perspective, the issuance and redemption of wholesale CBDC leaves the balance sheet size unchanged and only involves an asset or liability swap. The node of the Swiss National Bank is involved in the redemption transaction as only the central bank can issue and redeem wholesale CBDC. In this example, Bank One wants to redeem an amount of wholesale CBDC. On the SIC platform, we have a settlement account for Bank One and a technical account for SNB. On the SDX platform, we have the node of Bank One, the SNB node and the notary node. To initiate the redemption of wholesale CBDC, Bank One enters a redemption instruction or, as it's called on the SDX platform, a detokenization instruction. The redemption request is forwarded to the SNB node, including a request to block the amount of wholesale CBDC to be redeemed. The SNB node verifies the authenticity of the wholesale CBDC by checking whether the token has been signed with the private key of the SNB. The SNB node then forwards the redemption request, including the blocking request, to the notary node. If the state change does not concern a spent state, the notary node signs the request confirming that the wholesale CBDC is now blocked. The SNB node then instructs SIC to transfer SIC balances from the SNB technical account to Bank One. The communication between the SDX platform and SIC works via ISO 20022 messaging standard. The successful cash transfer in SIC triggers a message to the SNB node that the payment has been successfully processed which in turn requests the notary node to sign the redemption of wholesale CBDC. Upon the successful signing by the notary node, the ledger is updated that the wholesale CBDC has been redeemed. Now let's take a look at how the redemption of wholesale CBDC works in practice. This screen shows the SIC platform. We're logged in as Bank One. SIC balances on the bank's SIC settlement account are 1 billion Swiss francs. We're now logged in to the SNB technical account. SIC balances on this account are approximately 6 million Swiss francs. We now switch to the SDX GUI. We're logged in as Bank One. The bank's wholesale CBDC holdings are approximately 2.7 million Swiss francs. And there's no active reservation. To initiate the redemption of wholesale CBDC, Bank One creates a detokenization instruction. In the instruction, Bank One fills in the required parameters, among others, the value date and the amount to be redeemed, which is 800,000 Swiss francs. Having entered all the parameters to be specified, the instruction is created. The redemption instruction is successfully saved and we can see the instruction details. The instruction status and reason history shows that the transaction has passed the statuses received, accepted, and pending due to the reservation of the wholesale CBDC and is currently in the external processing, waiting for SIC to confirm the successful transfer of SIC balances from the SNB technical account to the account of Bank One. The communication between the SDX platform and SIC works through ISO 20022 standard. An ISO gateway is responsible for translating DLT specifics into standard ISO messages and vice versa. Please note this is a technical view and will not be made available to the user. Here we have the ISO gateway of the SNB node and see the outgoing PAX009 message that is sent from the SDX platform to SIC with the input parameters of the redemption instruction. The transaction type, redemption of wholesale CBDC, is visible. The redemption amount is 800,000 Swiss francs. And the debtor and creditor BIC are indicated. We've now moved back 
to the transaction view on the SIC platform. By updating the transaction view, the redemption of wholesale CBDC as defined in the Bank One instruction and sent from the SDX platform is visible. The instructing participant account is the SNB technical account and the instructed participant account is Bank One. The payment type is a redemption of wholesale CBDC and the settlement amount is 800,000 Swiss francs. Switching back to the SDX platform, the instruction status and reason history shows that the transaction is still pending, awaiting the confirmation message from SIC to reach the SDX platform. Since the redemption has not yet been confirmed, the wholesale CBDC is still blocked. Checking the status of the transaction again shows that it's moved from pending to settled. The external processing of the transaction in SIC is completed and the SDX platform is informed about the successful processing. Wholesale CBDC holdings are adjusted on the SDX platform and the status moves to settled. Looking at Bank One's wholesale CBDC holdings after the redemption shows that its holdings now stand at approximately 1.9 million, which is 800,000 Swiss francs less and there's no longer an active reservation. Moving back to the SIC platform allows us to check the SIC balances after the transaction. The SNB technical account balances are 800,000 Swiss francs lower at approximately 5.2 million. And the settled payments overview shows the redemption of wholesale CBDC. Note that the total amount of wholesale CBDC on the SDX platform always corresponds to the SNB technical account balances because wholesale CBDC can only be issued and redeemed by the Swiss National Bank. If we check the SIC account balances of Bank One, we can see the 1 billion Swiss francs plus the 800,000 Swiss francs that were redeemed. The settled payments overview shows the redemption of the wholesale CBDC. Now let's take a look at the Node Explorer. The redemption can be tracked in the Node Explorer of Bank One. Please note that this is a technical view and will not be made available to the user. Each row in the Node Explorer corresponds to a quarter transaction where Bank One is a participant. A condition for committing a state change to the ledger is that each participant of the quarter transaction, including the notary node, signs the proposed state change. By doing this, the notary node ensures that no input state has already been consumed, which prevents double spending. Rows 1 to 9 correspond to the state changes to the ledger arising from the redemption. One quarter transaction is shown in detail, the one stating to all involved participants that the redemption instruction status has moved to settled. While a settlement instruction moves through its different statuses, every change represents a quarter transaction. The status history is illustrated here. Note that in the input state, the transaction is still pending, while in the output state, which builds on the input state, the transaction is settled. Also note that this quarter transaction has been signed with the private key of the three participants to the quarter transaction, the SNB node, the Bank One node, and the Notary node. This demonstrates that nodes in SDX communicate with each other on a peer-to-peer -peer basis and the exchange of information takes place on a need-to-know principle. A node never receives information that does not concern it. The use case for redemption of wholesale CBDC has been successfully completed. <laughs>